Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning to our pastor, to those of you in the house. Let's bow our heads. Father, this morning we say thank you. Thank you. God, we thank you not because you've done great things for us, but we're thanking you because of who you are. God, you are the God above all gods, kings upon all kings. God, we thank you because today, God, as the world is getting ready to celebrate, as they say, Christmas, God, we thank you because you are our Christ today. We thank you for your father who didn't think it robbery, God, to send you to die for us. God, and you bought us Christmas over those 2,000 years ago. And because of that, God, you are still our Christ of Christmas. God, we pray today as we enter into this worship experience, God, that we will put ourselves in with you. Allow you, God, to envelop us. Allow you, God, to dwell with us. Allow you, God, to speak to us. Allow you, God, to reveal yourself to us. God, help us, God, to even, God, give our all. God, many are looking for gifts on Christmas Day. But God, let us, God, give you our gift today, our gift of praise, our gift of worship, our gift of adoration today. God, because you are worthy. God, we pray a divine blessing. God, upon our praise team leader, upon the praise team, upon the band, videographers, God, audio, everyone, God, that will participate in this service, God, to give service to you, God, that we, God, will give you all that belongs to you, with our hearts, God, lifted up, our mouths filled with praise. God, we're going to worship you today. And then, God, we thank you for the meal, God, that you prepared for us. God, we thank you, God, for the servant, God, that you've given the meal, God. And as it's served, God, help us to hear what you're saying, God, to us. Have your way today. God, in the name of Jesus. God, remember, God, even our government. Yes, speak to their hearts God God yes they may be doing good things in the community God but we need them to do God for you accept you have your way today God and we're gonna pray God that they God will in turn truly and honestly accept you have your way in Jesus name amen Good morning, church. Good morning. Those that can stand and that are not standing can stand for the word of God. This scripture is taken from 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels. And thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her. 
and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children of the rest. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. When we say the Holy Catholic Church, we are not referring to the Roman Catholic Church, but the Church Universal. When we say he descended into hell, we mean he went into the grave. Amen. 